We've heard so much news about Samsung and Apple. Now let's talk about the LG. What's going on guys, Jens Garcia here and today we're going to be talking about the new LG Optimus G. Alright, after waiting for weeks and weeks and hearing about the rumors, LG has finally made the LG Optimus G official. Now this being said to be the Samsung Galaxy S3 killer because of its specification. Now this device is packed with so much goodies in it. Now it's running the second generation Snapdragon processor clocked at 1.5 GHz and yes it is quad core and this also being claimed to be the world's first smartphone with LTE to feature LTE connection with Qualcomm processor. Alright so other specs of the device is that it'll have a 2 gigs of RAM installed. Now 2 gigs of RAM I think that's a really really great idea by LG to do because that's what people want on their smartphones. Now 2 gigs of RAM which means you're gonna be um, have more apps open without causing any lagginess to your phone and it also means that you're gonna have a better multitasking pretty much. Right, so it's gonna have a 13 megapixel camera as well so that's the back and then a 1.4 megapixel front-facing camera. Now Megapixel, it's not always about megapixels when it comes to um, camera, it's about the sensor. Now if you don't have a good sensor then that means you're not going to have a better um, picture quality, good picture quality. So the Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC One X both has a 8 megapixel camera and both of the devices a good sensor. They've got a good camera sensor. So it's going to be great to see how the 13 megapixel um, picture will look compared to the 8 megapixel picture. So it's going to be a good test between the two. And I just want to make a comment about the 1.4 uh, front facing camera. I think they should have at least made it about 1.9 um, because the Samsung Galaxy S3 has the 1.9 but I said it's all about the sensor so we'll see once we get the device. Now the device is going to have 4.7 inch screen with a resolution of 1280 by 768 resolution. Now they've mentioned that the display of the device is going to be a better resolution or better or better uh, viewing compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3's Super AMOLED display and that's going to be it's going to be interesting to see how the screen on the LG Optimus G will look like compared to the Samsung Galaxy S3 or even the HTC One X. Now with the HTC One X, um, it's got um, with the because it's running IPS, which means that you're gonna ha you're gonna have a native look on the device. So, and with the Samsung Galaxy S3, you do have more saturation. So. It's going to be interesting to see what's the difference between all the devices. So that's that one. Now the device is going to have a 2.21 milliamp hour battery. So 2,210 milliamp hour battery. Now that is really, really going to be good because if you've got an LTE connection on your device, you're going to need more milliamp hours to enjoy the goodness of the 4G. Now the Samsung Galaxy S3 has a 2,100 milliamps, so it's more than by 120 milliamp hours on the LG Optimus G. Alright, so now the question is, when is it going to be available? Now based from LG, the device is going to be available in September, but that's in Korea. But then soon after that, they're going to be released um, globally, so they're hoping for before the 2012 finishes. So there you have it guys, that's my update to you about the LG Optimus G. What do you think about it? Leave in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Jens Garcia and I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye.